would like to see an amendment to the constitution that gives us a governmental structure that is more in keeping with the requirements of the state in a modern society. Our constitutional structure was given to us handed down as a Westminster variation in the 1960s and our society has moved on beyond that. Um, it is too, we have too much of an entrenched prime ministerial constitutional model where the cabinet government dominates the legislative agenda of the society and the dictates of a small group in the society, which is the cabinet, tends to override the necessary concerns of the majority of the people. So therefore I would like us to move away from the prime ministerial model of government to a more presidential model, where you elect a prime minister who has, or, or sorry, our president perhaps, who is the head of state and head of government, and the citizens directly elect the person who holds the highest executive office in the land. And then you have a parliamentary structure which is based on representation of geographical areas as a, so that you will have the, pre, the president having his cabinet which has to be ratified by the parliamentary representatives of the people of the country so you can have a, a, a true separation from the executive. member of parliament who is a minister of government comes to parliament without a choice in relation to how he or she votes. So therefore if a matter is not necessarily popular or necessarily going with, within the general trend that the people in the constituency want, he has to, to stick with the decision of his cabinet colleagues. If not, the Westminster model suggests that he must resign from cabinet and then go onto the back bench and vote without the, the parliamentary whip coming down. Under the model that I just described, you would therefore have parliamentarians free to vote on matters that comes before the respective houses. And in the amendments I just put, I forgot to say that I think we should abolish the, this current manner in which we appoint the Senate. But we should have the Senate representative of key constituents in the constituents in the society as a general business, labor, church, um, sports, cultural groups, and what's not and not political parties, therefore, having representation in the Senate, so it would be a people's chamber, per se, to be a check and balance on the elected um, politicians on the other side. So we have kind of truly independent persons making contributions in a very small society before having to dye their, their clothes in the political color of one, one, one of the political parties. So therefore, I would like to see a parliamentarian who is free to vote on matters of conscience, uh, in terms of the bills that come before our parliaments so that you have an executive cabinet elected by the way of the president being elected and therefore you have that president choosing his or her um, ministers ratified by the people's representatives so that the, the representatives who we elect to the House of Assembly will be persons who are able to uh, manage and champion the needs of their particular constituents while still making a deliberate contribution to the issues that are before the, 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 their respective chambers. I, I see Barbados as a society poised to, for takeoff and for flight and by that I mean we are geographically located in the Eastern Caribbean and there, therefore we are the natural hub. Um, and we have always operated as a natural hub for the Eastern Caribbean and for the wider Caribbean, even for, as far as south and north. And I therefore see a Barbados um, uh, that will, will, will become a leading developing nation and therefore pull along the rest of the Caribbean countries with a broad vision to develop Caribbean people. If, if Barbados is not at the center of the Caribbean project, then I think we will all fail. And Barbados is the poor for it for not leading, or taking a natural role for leading the development initiatives in this, in, the, in this Caribbean sphere. So my vision is for Barbados to not be the leader in terms of a dominant leader, but a motivational and a, and a, and a kind of uh, a magnet for Caribbean integration and for the development of Caribbean skills, culture, 
and talents of, of, and sports sports people and, and the, the, the font where every everything happens and, and we come back to Barbados for, for leadership, for ideas in relation to how we can develop the Caribbean diaspora.